Now in East Kansas City, 58th and Wabash, firefighters still at the scene, SkyTracker over the scene. It's really hard to tell um, how intense this fire was because you really can't see a lot of damage uh, from uh, that house. Uh, but we are told that about 4.30 this morning, that house caught on fire. There was a woman who died from this house fire. Let's go to Jake right now with the latest. Jake. Yeah, and good morning to you. Still a very active scene. Fire investigators here right now trying to determine the cause. I want to push to the house and show you. It is that brick house down the street there, right in the middle. That is where the fire broke out, in the back of the home. Now, this fire is not even two hours old, and folks in the neighborhood are starting to hear the news about that fatality, that woman uh, who died here in this fire. We saw about a half hour ago people, possibly family members, family members running through the crime scene tape, uh, hugging each other after they heard about what had happened here. Now, let's tell you what had what happened about 4 30 4 45 a neighbor saw some smoke coming from the back of the home they called the fire department when the fire department arrived they found a female near the front door of the home a male was in the back he actually escaped through a kitchen window firefighters tried to give us uh, some cpr to that female but she did die at the hospital uh, now right now there is an active investigation listen to what firefighters have to say about that the scene is, is secured right now. We're waiting the arrival of uh, the, the investigator to come back to the scene from the hospital. Uh, I'm sure that the police will arrive. With their, we've got the, the bomb and arson squad that, that's in route. And the two people in the home were told they're in their 50s. We do not know the relationship between the two. We also know that there were two smoke detectors inside the home. We do not know if uh, those were working. Now, what we're being told is that the fire was basically contained to the kitchen of the back of the home, and it basically burned itself out. So that's one reason why you don't see much damage. Of course, we will stay here, and we'll bring you the latest when it's available. We're live here in Kansas City. Jake Peterson, 41 Action News.